All right, back, and there's a pile of shit in the floor. Literal. In here, too. Look at it. Oh, shit! No, 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 your mom's a whore. Your mom's a fucking whore. Oh, where you at? God, what a dick move. I forgot all about this. Get the fuck out of here. No. A hermit crab, and this is my pincher. Don't kill me, please. Thank Christ. I can't remember. Are there two of those monsters here? Shit, that would suck ass. Oh, God, come on. No, I guess not. It's for a reason it's still playing the audio, though. What the hell was this even for? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. There are two of them. I can't remember. I only know is if you like you charge one of the zombies later on, you can get him up against the wall and just sit there and tear him apart with the knife because you can swing it so fast. I think that's all it is though, it's just a just a fast acting weapon. Oh, and it can be thrown. That's right. Just remembered. Yeah, there's gonna be another zombie. I'm feeling it. Don't kill me, please. Oh, a box of biscuits. Eat them! How much health did I get? Oh, five? Oh, shit. It's not that much. Funny enough, your character starts with 20, but I think you can hold, you can have up to 35, so you're, I guess, at two-thirds health. Kind of messed up. Long trip, perhaps. Layover. Jet lag. Come on, I just got some more biscuits or something. Look at all the grain I could eat it! Fuck this place without any food! So how long has this shit even been sitting here, man? So, the woman sends me here to take care of this shit, and I'm assuming because she's too afraid to do it herself. So, I mean, what, the state like, never came to claim it? Nobody did? There's no tax collectors? Nothing? This, or, she, they go to her, I guess. Damn. It's like Silent Hill in here. Now, yeah, here's actually a part I'm gonna save because I'm a coward. And... This part's rough, so bear with me here. Yeah, you cannot fuck up on this one, otherwise it's game over. Yeah, good. And that's how you win that sequence. Yeah, the PC version I tried to play earlier, and just like trying to double tap up to dash or to run with the, the arrow pad is, like, impossible. And I don't think there's any other purpose to this. Okay, yeah, you gotta get away from that. That actually hurts you. Now I have to double back and get an item where that creepy plant toilet bathtub thing was. There's an item in there I need. I can't, I don't remember if you can even kill him. Now, there were talks of actually trying to uh, remake this game, doing an HD version. I would love to see that. I would seriously, I would pay serious money. Alright, yeah, the trick is you have to kind of get him off guard. This was not the way to do it, by the way. Oh, run, 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 run! Oh, you're a whore! You're a whore! Your mother was? Oh, no! Oh, shit. Wow, it hurts. Now, fuck that. I'm gonna take the loss. Here's the revolver. I can't... I think you can kill it with raw damage, but I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do it. 
And there's like some health items or something in there. I can't quite remember. Like minor health. That's like a like two two flasks, and I think they give you two HP each. Something like that. Now for the tough part. I'll have to save it again. <clears throat> yeah, I think this this the smoke that hits you, I think it takes off like 5 or 10 HP. It's really nasty. Didn't do it. <clears throat> oh wait, I'm not even doing this right. Yeah, I got the jug. Now I need to go fill it with water. Yeah, that would have been bad. I would have walked in there and just gotten wiped out. So you put out the ashtray with the... the water. Interestingly enough, I think you can actually drink it. Not this water, because this is nasty. Did I search the coal? Look at search. Yeah, I think there were bullets in there. <coughs> There's so much detail in this game, I mean, despite the era and uh, the use of low resolution pictures. Oh, yeah, I'm saving again. I'm doing it right now. Oh, shit, please tell me I didn't just spill it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, get out, get out, it's still gonna hit me. Yeah, wow. I'm really actually surprised I lived. It's locked. Of course! What else would it be? Fuck, it's being locked, miss. Of course, and they're actually going to make me use the stupid fucking thing I put down earlier. Can I use this here? No, of course I can't. Oh, These paintings! Books, everybody loves listening to those. Yeah, you get the idea. You put the sword up there, and then the thing moves. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Take these fucking books and the records. And you have to do battle with some horrible things down there. All right, let me see if I can go get the peas. So if I had to get the blade too, that would be awful. That would mean some really horrible backtracking. Oh, this 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 is bad news. Uh, so apparently there's there's like a weight system in this game. Like it actually may, it doesn't measure per item, it measures by the weight of some item. Okay, I can put the the, the I put down. Those rifle rounds. I can think of shit. Shut. Right, let's go to the books. Read. Memories by Alistair Boliskin. Printed in London, A. Machen, editor, 1833. It was during a conversation with G that one first heard of the New England fishing village of I. The area was apparently the ideal place from which to witness unusual phenomena in space. The quality of the air, along with the conjunction of several favorable factors, made one impatient to get started. Having gleaned what information one could from the British Museum, one set off with all haste. 
One's work on space and comets in particular had met with a warm response, and one thought it judicious to include several original sketches of the phenomenon, sketches which one felt were sure to arouse a great deal of keen interest in the scientific circles of 1834. One refers naturally to the passage of Halley's Comet. Editor's note, Lord Boliskin's memoirs end at this point. Who knows what extraordinary contributions he might still have made had he not succumbed during his visit to New England to dementia, followed by an early death in St. Andrew's Hospital. Huh. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'll be back when I'm done dumping this crap. <laughs>